Welcome to another edition of Chew Chats, where plant-based eating takes the mic. Today, we will be chatting with Dr. Howard Lucas, where macular degeneration and diet are on the plate. and you've been one for quite a while. Um, Since 1960. Okay, so you've seen things change and and you've learned a lot along the way. When you first started practicing medicine, what did you start as? Did you say you were a general practitioner? In 1953, I was what we call general practice, Mm -hmm. which meant you did everything. Medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics. So uh, then you decided to do something else. Well, I, just, I decided that uh, right after World War II, um, most people were general practitioners. But then, during the 1950s, things began to specialize. And when I, I left in 1957, uh, January 1st, and went back to Columbia University for three more years, and I, and when I got back, half of the people in River Haven were specialists, and uh, now even the eye, instead of just eye in general, it is broken up in little pieces, Mm -hmm. and we have retinal specialists, and corneal specialists, and glaucoma specialists, and uh, external disease specialists, Mm -hmm. so I don't claim to be an expert in any one of those, I didn't have extra training, Mm -hmm. you have to take uh, usually at least two years of extra training in whatever field you're going to specialize. So you focus mainly on the whole eye, and then if someone needs help with something else, they can go... The whole eye, and if I see something that needs extra expertise, I refer Mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. So you'll be a good person to give us a general picture of how the macular works in the eyeball. So could you quickly tell us, briefly tell us, what is the macular, what's its job? Well, the light comes through the cornea, through the pupil, through the lens, and to focus on the retina, just like a camera. The inside of the eye is lined by the retina, which is the nerve fiber layer, including blood vessels and the rods and cones, which are the light receptors. Um, The very center of the retina is called the macula. Mm -hmm. It just means the center of the retina. And the center of the, of the macula is called the fovea. And it's only about uh, a fraction of a millimeter across. That has the most rods and cones, uh, rods and cones, that is. And it doesn't have any blood vessels crossing it because the light has to go through the blood vessel, through the nerve fiber layer, to get to the cones. And therefore, you don't want uh, blood vessels distorting the image. And so this one little center area is the most important part of your eye. If anything happens to that, you can't read. Your vision is about 2200. Underneath the retina is the retinal pigment epithelium, which is the chemical factory that recharges the rods and cones when they have been exposed to light. Retinal pigment epithelium is inside the choroid, which is a vascular layer that helps to nourish the choroid. So any disruption of the nourishment of the retinal pigment epithelium and the rods and cones then interferes with our sight. So inside our eyeball is the same kind of layer, the epithelium layer, that we see in the arteries to our blood vessels that take blood to our heart that Dr. Esselstyn talks about. Well, all of the vessels, whether they're large ones or smaller, small capillaries, are lined with a single layer of flat cells, we call it epithelium. In this case, we're talking about vascular endothelium, not retinal epithelium. Okay. Epithelium just means a layer. Okay. And uh, if anything happens to the lining of the blood vessels, 
then the nutrients can get through the blood vessel into the organ, in this case, the retina. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you talked about the damage that can happen to the macular, and how does that affect the vision? If I'm looking and I'm starting to get macular degeneration, what kinds of things will I notice because my macular's been damaged? Well, first you'll notice that you don't adapt to, dark, to dim light as quickly as you used to. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you will notice that you don't see as sharply as you used to. Mm -hmm. When you were younger, you certainly had 20-20 vision. And then when some of the retinal cells, it's like having a moth-eaten sweater. Uh, if the light falls on a good spot, it's all right. If the light falls on a bad spot, you don't see it. So everything would be like speckled. You wouldn't have as many pixels as mm -hmm. you normally would. So like on a computer picture when there, or a camera that's digital, we'll just see white spots where we didn't pick up all the oh, image. That's right. Okay, and so, so we'd start seeing that, and then we, would it be white or black? Well, what you don't see is black. Okay, okay. And so that gets damaged, and what's getting damaged is that healthy tissue in our macular, is that correct? Yes. Okay, how do we keep that tissue healthy, keep our epithelium layer there healthy to keep all of it nourished? Well, Dr. Campbell and Dr. Esselton and others have discovered that uh, in order to keep your vascular endothelium healthy, you need to eat a whole food plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. Animal products uh, damage that animal protein in particular, and too much fat. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, they all, and animal products also do not have any micronutrients. Mm -hmm. Those are present in, only present in plants. Mm -hmm. uh, your colored, all your colored fruits and vegetables, uh, kale, greens, collards, mm -hmm. uh, blueberries, mulberries, nuts, berries, seeds. You need a whole variety of everything so that you're not missing anything. So adding lots of fruits and vegetables and grains and starches and, and root vegetables to our diet is something that will help nourish all of our body, including the, the epithelial layers in our vessels. Is that correct? Well, that's the only way to nourish it. Okay. And uh, the animal products, dairy, meat, mm -hmm. anything that runs, jumps, flies, from mm -hmm. worms to birds, mm -hmm. or oysters, or whatever you want to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't designed to survive on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, so if we just eat more of what our grandmother told us to eat, we'd be better off. Right. Eat your veggies. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Lucas. Well, thank you.